I'm Dr. Alima too. Our always on socially connected technology is turning everyone into a celebrity and the paparazzi. Find out how on the Psych Show. You know those times you're walking down the street thinking, I'm really behind on my work. Also, I'm hungry. Maybe I should get a burrito. Oh snap, Empire's on tonight. And then you see yourself in a reflection. Oh hey, it's me. Dang, my hair looks good today. Wait, what's that in my teeth? Oh shit. Was that there all day? Psychologists call this objective self-awareness, and it happens whenever your attention gets focused on yourself. When you become self-aware, you start comparing the way you think about yourself to the way you actually are. Sometimes this leads you to change your behavior, like with the kiss cam. Radar enforced speed limit signs. Suckers, I'm driving so fast no one knows it but me. Oh no, they figured it out. Those cameras in the bank. Oh, grumpy cat, you're so grumpy. Wait, they're filming me right now. I better act serious and professional and stuff because this is a bank, yo. And tag photos. Why'd you tag me in this photo? I told you my left side is my best side. Self-awareness is a big part of being human. There aren't many other species who can become aware of themselves the way we can. Self-awareness is also the big test we'll use to figure out if an artificial intelligence is actually alive. How does this relate to the technology we use today? Whenever someone takes out a cell phone and aims it in your direction, you become self-aware. You might ask yourself, are they checking their email or are they taking a photo of me? Maybe you ignore it, look away, give the person a smile, or give them a dirty look. Experiencing this every now and then is just a normal part of living in a community. But now that everyone is Facebooking, Vining, and Instagramming every moment of their lives, we're becoming self-aware all the time. And things are gonna get worse. Wearable technology like Google Glass and future versions of the Apple Watch are gonna make it very easy for people to record you. Cheap drones means anyone can watch you from above. And apps like Meerkat make it easy for anyone to broadcast what you're doing right now all over social media. If this sounds like a science fiction dystopian future, that's because it is one. There's already a group of people who've been living in this type of reality. Celebrities. Every aspect of their lives are broadcast across media and then scrutinized by the public. We don't treat celebrities like they're people, we treat them like they're objects. This is our future. As technology becomes more integrated with our lives and media becomes more connected to our identities, all of us are gonna deal with the same type of stress celebrities experience when they run into the paparazzi. Why do people think they have the right to take photos and videos of you in public? When self-awareness becomes very low, something called de-individuation happens. De-individuation is a feeling you get when you blend into a crowd and don't think anyone notices you. It loosens you up and makes it easier for you to say and do things that you wouldn't normally do. Like when you're at a sports game. What'd you say about my team? At a massive Comic Con. I'm gonna take a lot of inappropriate photos of these cosplayers cause no one's gonna catch me. Or riding the subway. Is that dude really drinking soup on the subway? Oh, hell no. I'm gonna secretly tweet this. De-individuation frees you from normal social rules. It also makes it easier for you to continue taking pictures and photos just like the paparazzi. It's not all bad. Smartphones have exposed injustices, drones have a lot of useful applications, and live broadcasting will help people experience things they wouldn't otherwise be able to. But technology is advancing fast, and we're getting used to it before we fully understand the impact it's gonna have on society. Like privacy, how do we maintain it when everyone's both a celebrity and the paparazzi? Maybe we'll just have to wait for the next generation to correct our mistakes. Teenagers have already figured out it's probably not the best idea to have your photos and videos Videos around forever. That's why they're using stuff like Snapchat and Yik Yak more than Facebook and Twitter. Stuff disappears after a while. You know, like it used to for thousands of years before the internet came online. What do you think about the future of technology? Are we doomed to live in a dystopian sci-fi future? Or will all this new tech usher in a golden age for humanity? Let me know in the comments below. Click on my prototype Apple Watch to subscribe and get more psychology.